Hi, everybody. Deanna Lay, CEO and founder of ICAG. I know a guy slash gal back with another ICAG interview. Today, I have the privilege and honor of interviewing my amazing friend, the Laura Lori of Vibrant Living with Laura. I cannot wait for you to not only hear her story of why she does what she does, but what she does that has helped more people than I can even probably count to. <laughs> so Laura, welcome to the ICAG interview. Yay, I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. I'm honored to get to chat with you and share what I'm the most passionate about and what I love. So thanks for doing this. I've oh been... my gosh, I can't wait to hear all about you and the things that you absolutely love doing. So tell us a little bit about your business. And I know wrapped up into that will be how you got started in it too, because it's a it's a great story and so inspiring. Well, thanks. It's it's a little bit of a long one, but I'm going to give you a really short version. If anybody's listening to this and they want to hear the whole big story, I'd love to tell you. But I am really passionate about um, helping people really create a vibrant, healthy, abundant life. And I think we we clearly can see that we have some pretty major health issues going on in our world, a lot of lifestyle issues, et cetera. And I was one of those people, you know, I was really struggling with inflammation and brain fog and lethargy. And I was just tired all the time. And I was doing a lot of the right things. Like I was eating clean and I was working out, but I didn't look like it. I didn't feel mm. like it. And I just knew there had to be more that I was missing. And in 2009, I started health coaching. I got some certifications, continued to study nutrition. Um, just the journey continued. And the more I learned, the more I learned, the more I thought, no one's talking about this. People uh -huh. need to understand the power of nutrition or the lack of nutrition and how it's impacting their health. Yeah. And so that really sparked my whole journey. And when I turned my health around, um, I just knew that I was now on a path where I really wanted to help others be able to do the same thing and just live vibrantly and healthy. You don't have to be in your fifties and be full of aches and pains and pills and problems. You know, you can really live vibrantly in your fifties, your sixties and your seventies. So I want to fix that. Oh, that's amazing. So tell us a little bit about your health journey from where you started and you, cause you said you were eating clean. You thought you were doing all the right things and then what that looks like today. Yeah. So I was eating super clean, discovered I had some food sensitivities um, to cut some things out of my diet, which I did. And post cutting that out, I was still struggling. I still had a lot of inflammation in my body. And I think the discovery part of the journey and what I discovered. And I think, you know, I say this to people and I know they hear me, but I don't think they hear me. Our food supply today is nutritionally bankrupt. Mm. Even if you're eating super clean, it's very difficult to get all the nutrients our bodies need for optimal health and then throw in stress. And we know that stress is a major component of so many of the diseases and health issues that we face today. Mm. And yet we don't talk enough about how do we get the right nutrients in? How do we really balance out the stress in the body? And then toxicity is a massive issue, whether it's coming from our chemically laden foods or it's coming from the environment that we're in. If it's coming from, you know, oxidative stress on our system, these are the real root causes of so many of our health issues, bankrupt food, high stress and toxicity. So even if you're eating really clean, you still may not be getting all the nutrients your body needs. So how do you fill in the pieces? How do you balance out the stress, right? Okay. Stress was a huge issue for me. Mm -hmm. And um, as was, even though I was eating super, super clean and had cut out some inflammatory foods, I still didn't feel great. So filling in those gaps became critical. And in 2014, my, my health coaching business had been five years, you know, in the making. And in 2014, I found Isogenics. I partnered with them and it really allowed me the tools, um, to help so many more people in their journey than what I was doing without it. So that was really a blessing too, for sure. That's awesome. So tell me a little bit about Isogenics and some of the, the products that you love and why you love them so much. Yeah. So 
you know, we kind of get lumped into this weight loss category. Every people hear isogenics and they think weight loss. It's just mm -hmm. somehow in the 21, almost 21 years that we, the company has been around, um, because you can see transformations of people, you yeah. know, we think, oh, it must be a weight loss company, but we're really not a weight loss company. When you look at how nutritionally sound our products are, we have the ability to really help people flood their body with dense nutrition in a variety of different forms. Um, we're based on all of the founding principles of intermittent fasting, which is such a buzzword today, but it's been something the company has been doing and I have been encouraging for nine years now and the company for almost 21. Um, and that intermittent fasting process really supports the body's natural detoxification pathways and autophagy and supporting strengthening mitochondria. So there's so many other pieces or big words. If you want to know more about them, let me know, but they're really the keys to longevity and optimal health mm -hmm. and getting rid of inflammation. So when people are struggling with inflammation, one of the best things I can do is really help them through, um, some fasting protocols and cleansing protocols to get the inflammation out of the body, put some good nutrition in. It's not a one size fits all, but some really amazing biohacks to support brain function, mitochondria function, digestive function, calming down stress. So just some really cool things. If you're overweight and you need to lose weight, guess what will happen? You'll lose it. Yeah. But it's not because we went on a diet, we cut calories and we restricted what we ate and mm -hmm. we gave up entire groups of macros, but really focusing on that dense nutrition, detoxification and balancing the stress, a big part of what we do. And I love that the company is so innovative as well. It's not like you're the same company that you were, you know, 21 years oh, ago, gosh. but you keep figuring out as people's needs change, as science gets, you know, discovers more things, your company seems to be super innovative at the top of the, of the list, truthfully, from what I've seen. Um, it's just incredible how our scientists and we are a company of nutritional scientists, um, just how on the forefront of things they are. So we're looking at things like NAD products, which some people may not have even heard of yet, but how they impact cell regeneration um, is powerful, right? Um, our collagen product is, at, it's the number one selling collagen product in the world right now. And it's because mm. of the way it's formulated and bottled and what's in it um, and all that's patented. So really we are, in my opinion, the top of the game when it comes to advancements in how nutrition can really um, improve longevity and health. And keep it simple. Like that's my big key word when I talk to people, because I think people think it has to be really complicated and drudgery and difficult. And it doesn't, it can be so, so simple. So that's my biggest passion is yeah. to just say, Hey, this can be really simple. Like you don't have to give up everything you love. You don't have to never eat out again. You can still have balance in your life, um, but live a much healthier life in the process. Well, I think what you talked about, how the uh, the foods that we eat today, even if we, we think we're eating healthy, they are just lacking the nutrients that you, know, you can think you're getting them all day long. But when it comes right down to it, you know, having something that will give us the actual nutrients that our body craves and needs to perform in its you know, optimal capacity. I think that's where a great partnership with you, because you can look at somebody's whole picture of things versus, you know, just putting somebody on a diet. I know you like, you're like, don't even come to me if you want to be on a diet, because that is, not, that, that is not what we do and not, not what you help people with. So who would you say, um, I know you work well with people who are wanting to you say live, hang on, what's your tagline? You want to, if you want to live younger, longer. longer. Yeah. So how do you help people do that? So a lot of what I've already been talking about, you know, living younger, longer means how can I kind of biohack my body into better, younger health? So when you look at things like collagen as a prime example, you know, as we age, we stop producing collagen. And by the time we're in our fifties, we're producing very little. And so collagen isn't just a, a beauty thing, right? Although vanity will win out most times. 
collagen is the glue that holds our bodies together. We have less and less of it. We get joint pain and aches, our hair thins, our skin gets dry and wrinkled and saggy. Mm -hmm. And so, so many, and our brain requires a certain amount of collagen for proper function too. So supplementing with a really high quality collagen, I'm not talking topically putting it on your face. I'm talking about ingesting it and helping your body naturally rebuild those collagen stores is a massive biohack for health. NAD products, which is a big buzzword right now, um, our formulation and our capsules in building and rebuilding new, healthy, vibrant cells. I mean, the science is insane. We look at our nootropics and, and our nootropic elixir and what that's doing for long-term memory and long-term brain health. There's wow. nothing else out there right now. So you talk about how can I live younger and longer first get great nutrition in your body but then look at some of these things how can you preserve your brain health right like wow. sudoku doku puzzles or whatever are great but how can you really get the synapse and the brain working better to improve memory over the long haul improve brain health over the long haul improve cell regeneration over the long haul so these are some things like when i was you know 40 I cared what my body looked like, right? Like what size mm -hmm. I was, but yeah. now in my fifties, I still care, but I'm way more interested in having a youthful second half of my life, right? Where I'm active and I feel good and I can do things and, and enjoy my life. Like this is the time we should, you know, that second half of life should be the very best. Right. And and you feel your best at that point. And so when I talk about living younger, longer, I'm talking about that second half of life where you really, you want to go hiking, you want to go on vacation, you want to play with your grandchildren, you want to feel really good. And there's just simple things that you can do to help along the way. And inflammation is a huge problem. Getting yeah. that out of your body is so important. And you already know this. I mean, I talk to people about sugar intake and, you know, white flour intake and things of that nature because it's inflammatory. Yeah. And what can we do in lieu of that, but that you can still enjoy life, you know? So what are some things you can still do? And I know we're totally on the same page with that. So all things to live younger, longer. I absolutely love that because yes, as I near my 50th birthday in, in July, uh, 2023, I for sure, um, want to make sure that I'm not waking up feeling older than I need to. I did that for way too many years. And so to be able to have not just the food that I eat, but other things that can, and increase the way that my, my brain functions and decrease my stress level. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, so no, I'll, I'll tell I just want to toss one fast thing in on that. Sure. What we're seeing right now with a lot of these biohacks is we can look at people genetically and see that metabolically and biologically their ages are significantly younger Wow. than what they actually are. So there's one particular gentleman who talks about this all the time. He just had his biological age checked. He's 94 and his biological age based off of all of the testing that his doctor did has him at 72. Oh my gosh. And, um, you know, my metabolic age, I've just been able to drop four years Oh, since wow. the beginning of July. So when we talk about like age is just a number, it's just a number. If you're doing all the right things, yeah. you can literally slow down biologically and metabolically how your body is aging. And that's really the key. I mean, we're not all going to live forever, but as long as we're living, if we can live well, isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, that's inspiring actually, because I don't think a lot of people, um, think about it. They just think, oh, whatever it is, however old I am is just how I am. And the, more, the older I get, the more pills I have to be on. And we could get on our soapbox for a long time about that. But I, yes, I really want to get into like misconceptions about your business before we wrap up, because I mean, you're, you're in a multi-billion dollar space that a lot of people and companies take advantage of, you know, it's, it can start out as a vanity space, but you know, you're, 
you are so the opposite of about vanity. You're you're seriously <laughs> about, I want to see you be the healthiest version of yourself possible. And so what what would you say is the biggest misconception when you meet people or when you talk to people about what you do and how you do it? Um, I think there's still a huge body of people or group of people who think calories in, calories out which I'm constantly trying to knock that myth. Um, and, you know, a lot of that stemmed from people around my age and, you know, a little younger, a little older. That's what we were taught. If you just eat less, you'll lose weight. Right. But calories are not equal, right? Mm -hmm. A hundred calorie cookie and a hundred calorie, you know, salad are very, very different. Yeah. And how your body processes and utilizes those calories are also very different and how you feel when you consume those calories are very, very different. Right. So the misconception about calories in calories out, like if I could just get rid of that and talk about quality, um, it's such a big difference. The number on the scale is not indicative of your health all the way. It can be, I mean, obviously if you're obese, it's going to impact your health. And that number on the scale will tell you that. But there's so much more that goes into your health and your well being than the number on a scale. And more than just what you eat, but what you think, right? What you breathe, how you move, yeah. all of these things play a huge role in your overall health. So getting people off of being on the scale all the time to let that be, you know, their determining factor of how healthy they are mm -hmm. is huge for me. Um, the misconception that supplements and, and nutritional companies are all garbage and marketing and blah, blah, blah. That's a huge misconception. There is sadly a lot of garbage out there, but that's with anything. And really understanding the quality and the caliber of the nutritional company that you partner with, like not all vitamin D is equal. Not all vitamin C is equal. Not all protein shakes are equal. Not all multivitamins are equal. Um, and really understanding that and taking the time to know the quality. Price has is not necessarily indicative of quality. And we know that. So yeah. really knowing what, what the company is about, what quality they utilize. Like these are things that are so, so important as you're making decisions for your health. And if you're making your decisions about your health based solely on price, yeah. that's probably not the best decision, right? So, yeah. um, and I think the only other misconception that I really love to talk to people about is that being healthy is difficult or requires a lot of deprivation. And it doesn't, you can still have delicious food. You can still enjoy things that you love. You can still have a glass of wine if you want it. You can still go out to dinner, right? You don't have to deprive yourself and it doesn't have to be difficult. So I think those are probably the most common misconceptions that I hear with what I do. And I love to show people that they can have a, a wonderful, abundant, enjoyable life yeah. and stay healthy. You can, you can have a fun life. You don't, you don't have to put yourself into a box where you're miserable all the time, just so you can be a certain number on a scale. So, and if I could tell people to stop using the word can't, it would be life-changing for them. Like when I hear people say, oh, I can't eat that. I'm like, oh, you can, you can pick it up and shove it in your mouth. You can, you, can. you totally you're can. You're making a choice. You're yeah. making a choice. And your choice is to eat it or not eat it, but it's your decision. It's not because you can or you can't. And your brain really works off of those keywords. So I could, that's a whole other soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you could share like a healthy, simple tip, what what would you share? And I love how I look like a ghost. I hope everybody thinks I'm super angelic as my <laughs> office gets darker and darker from the, the sun going down. I just want everybody to think about I'm this ethereal being who's in <laughs> Well, you're sort of you're sort of flowing around there with the white background. <laughs> Interviewing Laura. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> well, um, one tip, this is the one tip that I give so many people, and it's so simple, and my kids could probably answer this for you because it's something I talk to them about all the time. Um, but it's water, mm. water, water is my number one, simple, 
first fastest thing you can do to make improvements to your health. So many times you overeat because your body doesn't know the difference between hunger and dehydration, nice. right? You're lethargic and you don't have energy because your body's dehydrated. So if you could do one thing right now, that could just be a simple change for your health, drink more water. If you're not getting a hundred ounces of water or more a day, you're walking around dehydrated. It's why you have a headache. It's why you have brain fog. It might be why you're not sleeping great. It might be why you're overeating or you feel hungry yeah. all the time. I was going to say, it might be why you're hungry. Yeah. Yeah. So number yeah. first, number one, easy, fast tip that you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know or recommend, but most people forget about it is drink more water. Uh, she's going to stand on the rooftops and scream that down to everybody. Yeah, <laughs> no, so no, she's going to just encourage you. Laura is an arm in arm person. She wants to come alongside you and really help guide you into being the healthiest version, the most vibrant version of yourself. And so how can people get a hold of you? What's the easiest way for people to reach out to you and to learn more about you and what you do? So a couple of great things. Um, first and foremost, you can find me on Facebook, Laura Lori. I have uh, my personal page. You're welcome to connect with me there. Um, you can reach out to me through Facebook Messenger. I have a, um, a business page as well. It's Vibrant Living with Laura, super simple. Um, you're welcome to email me and that's an easy email. It's laura at lauralaurie.com. So Laura, my first name at lauralaurie.com. You're always welcome to email me and you are certainly always welcome to call me or text me. Um, the best number to reach me is 973. Yes, that's a New Jersey number. I'm here in St. Louis, but it doesn't matter. 973. Two seven one six two three five. Um, I do have a website up. It's in the process of being redone. It should be done for June uh, 2000, uh, 2023. I don't even know where we are. So know. depending I'm on just, when, I'm just getting when used or where 2022. you're, <laughs> <laughs> depending on when or where you're watching this, 2023, it'll be live and you're welcome to go to my website by vibrantlivingwithlaura.com. Yes. Um, and I am happy to chat with you, walk alongside you and meet you right where you're at. I love it. Well, please, please, please. If you have any questions whatsoever, we talked about a lot of things, but friends, there is, uh, there's much more to your health than just watching what you eat. You too can live a vibrant life and Laura wants to help you do so. So reach out to her, learn all the things and all the ways she will come alongside you and be your true partner in health. And I can tell you, she's a phenomenal human being. So even if you just want to have a chat or get a cup of coffee with her, you, coffee. <laughs> you will not be disappointed. That's for sure. So thank you, Laura, for being my guest on the ICAG interview today. I'm so excited to uh, share what you do with the world and can't wait for everybody to hear it. So thank you so much. Thank you.